This is the Bosch LED remote for the Smart System e-bikes. There's an optional Kiox 300. We've got the Smart System specific Performance Line CX motor and a power tube 750 on this Trek Rail 9.9. I'm gonna go into these other components separately. We're really just gonna focus on the LED remote. And what's really cool about this is you can operate the bike completely with this remote, and this is actually what connects with Bluetooth to the app. So you do not need that optional display. You really don't even need a smartphone to operate this bike. So this is the hardware. I'm a big fan of these buttons. They're very reachable and they just feel really solid. Some of the other Bosch button pads in the past, they had bigger buttons and you kind of had to press in the right place and they just didn't feel as solid. So it's a nice upgrade, very reachable. The mounting point can slide back and forth and you can actually slide the plastic piece on this as well. It just, it's a very nice design. On the top edge, we have a power button and an ambient light sensor. That's what that little box is there, which is very nice because if you're riding in the dark and you don't want to be blinded by these LEDs like some of the cheaper e-bike systems out there. We'll go ahead and press the power button and see this thing come to life. So it walks through the battery level indicator here. There are five ticks, but they actually give you 10% readouts. So if you drain 10%, that first LED will change from blue to kind of a white color. So that's very nice. In the past, some of the e-bike systems from Bosch just gave you 20% increments. So 10% is much nicer, especially if you don't have the range readout on the optional Kiox 300. Right down next to it is another little LED block, but that's for the optional analog braking system, which we don't see as much in North America. And then over here, we have a big LED that changes color depending on the level of assist you choose. So if you're just using the LED remote, this left right button, it doesn't really do anything. Same thing with that selector box. Those are really meant to interact with the optional Kiox 300. So we're really just looking at this plus and minus button, which double as a headlight and walk mode button. If you had headlights built in, or if you had a shop add them for you, you'd hold this plus button for a few seconds and it would activate the lights, hold it again, and it would turn the lights off. Down here, walk mode, same kind of thing. If we hold the minus button for a few seconds, we see the white LEDs going up and down. That means, okay, push your bike a little bit and the motor will kick in. Very handy because e-bikes do tend to be a little bit heavier. So they're doing a great job with these buttons and adding the icons helped a lot because in the past we didn't have those and you kind of just had to know that little secret. So now let's go through the little levels of assist. If we press the plus button, we go from off to eco, green, tour plus, blue, EMTB, purple, and turbo, red. So Turbo and Eco are both adjustable using the eBike Flow smartphone app. You can actually change the, the top speed and how quickly power actuates. I'll go into that in more detail in a separate video. Down here at EMTB mode and Tour Plus, they're kind of similar. Basically, they're giving you a range of power output and it really listens more to how hard you're pedaling. And that's a way to save power and to be a little bit more precise. Um, you know, it's not just gonna kick right in and give you full power the way that turbo mode would, and it's not gonna limit your power the way Eco would. So they're both dynamic. If you wanna save some power, maybe you use Tour Plus. If you want it to be a little punchier, go up to EMTB. Now the final interesting thing to mention about the LED remote is that we have a little rubber cover down here with a tool icon on it. If we open that up, you can see there's a USB-C port built in. However, I contacted Bosch about this and they said, this does not offer power. The manual says five volt, 600 milliamps. But when I actually got myself one of these plugs right here, USB-C to lightning, and I plugged my, my iPhone in, it did nothing. So turns out that's just for maybe firmware or other diagnostics. One of the cool things about the smartphone app, the eBike Flow app is that you can update the software on the bike yourself. You no longer have to take it into a shop, but I imagine there are some diagnostics that probably still do require that. To me, it's a bit of a missed opportunity because in the past we had the Intuvia, the Kiox, the original one, and the Nyon. They all had micro USB, which did allow you to charge. And now that we have this really high capacity 750 watt battery and the smartphone app has a mapping feature, it just feels like it would be really nice to tap into this. I mean, they've got the hardware, but one complaint about the positioning on this is that it's it's right there in front of the dropper post lever on this particular bike. It would be much, much nicer if it was active and if it was here. So that's my feedback. 
That's a thorough walkthrough of the different settings on the LED remote. For other walkthroughs and reviews, I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. Love you guys, ride safe. See you in the next one.